So it's a pink shirt kind of day. I had plans of what I was going to do and I missed my alarm and what actually woke me up was hearing my mother's voice calling me. Is she here to call me? No, but that's what woke me up. I'm having my coffee in my Vermont mug. I like Vermont. Anyway, so today I start my fasting where you eat a little later and you stop eating at a certain time and as the time goes on that time um, decreases. So I did it before and it didn't really work out for me as I was constantly feeling nauseous and the doctor was thinking that was the only thing that really changed. So the doctor was thinking maybe that's what it was. But I don't think so because I wake up feeling nauseous all the time. Yeah. So I'm going to try it. I weighed myself today. I lost two and a half pounds, which I'm kind of super surprised. Super surprised. I have been writing down what I eat. I've been logging everything. Um, my workouts have consisted of me hauling things around for the yard sale we had for the scouts. It was a lot of work. So I could see how that played into me losing this weight, although I wasn't physically on the treadmill. I also joined a gym. So I'm doing a lot of this with uh, one of my best friends that I've been friends with since we were 15. And she's giving me motivation behind the camera. You're not going to see her. Or maybe you will. I don't know. I can't call it. But um, she's giving me like, she's giving me that push that I needed and hopefully that I help to give others in life. Now, obviously not here because there's, um, you know, only a couple of you. And I don't think that most of you are watching my videos. And why is that? My videos are fun. But anyway, um, and she's kind of, I feel like I lost my mojo. Like, I was kind of like, you know what? I'm just going to be fat. Like, I've lived this long with this. And she kind of popped up on Facebook with a with a post. And I was like, all right, I'm in. Um, clean eating, I'm in. I love meal prep. I love food shopping. I love all of that. So I was like, I'm definitely in. And from there, it took us to our workout routines. And now... She's sharing with me her fasting experiences. And I've had another friend that was doing it also, and she was doing great on it. Um, <clears throat> but for me, like I said, I was just constantly nauseous. And I'm 50, I'm not pregnant. So, um, the fuck? Anyway, 50, whew, that's a big fucking number. But anyway, I, so I know that I don't know what it is that I'm nauseous. I honestly feel like maybe I'm just not sleeping enough. And it's something that I've never done. I've never really slept. Three hours has usually been my minimum. I mean, my max, my maximum, maybe not. But like three hours, I would be good. That would be the minimum amount that I would need. That's what I was trying to say. That would be the minimum amount that I would need to be okay for the day. And you know, I'm getting older and I'm sure that that's not what's working for me anymore. So what I need to do is, you know, so I, and once I realized that I was still nauseous, even though I wasn't fasting, I was like, man, it's good to eat whenever the hell I want. But that's not getting me healthier. That's not helping me. That's not solving my problems. So, um, and I kind of forgot about fasting until I was sent this article today. Um, an article. I'm not giving it to you. Find your own article. Just joking. But anyway, and I was like, okay, so let's restart this. Tomorrow I'm meeting up for her with, to go to the gym. I've been super anxious. I joined it. I haven't been there. Um, but she's going to meet up with me to go to a different one that's like kind of in between us because we live, you know, we don't live that far away, but, <clears throat> and I'm starting tomorrow. And today I started my fasting. I didn't eat until 10.30 this morning. And I guess as long as my blood sugar is okay, like I'm okay, right? Um, my goal is to not take insulin anymore. I am an insulin dependent diabetic and I've lessened the amount of insulin 
that I've been taking over the past, I don't know, like six months, it's been lowered. So it's amazing. And my goal is to be at zero, zip, zero, stingy with the Nero. Anyway, um, and that's it. So this is my fitness vlog for this week. Uh, it's more of me just um, blabbering and run on sentences. It's who I am. I accept it. So I challenge you. What are you going to change this week to better your life? What are you going to try again that maybe didn't work before? Because in retrospect, it was you and not what you were trying. Um, how are you improving your life today? What are you doing for yourself? What kind of self-care are you going to do? Mine is having this cup of coffee when nobody's here. And the two, two of the dogs are outside. And the other one is just running around here and you probably can hear her little nails tick, 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 tick on the floor. So this is my self-care. It might not seem like a big deal, but having a moment of silence while drinking coffee that tastes freaking delicious, freaking delicious, is my self-care for today. What are you doing? What are you doing? What new habit are you going to start uh, today? Yeah, that's it. Bye.